Hey, what is going on guys? Banana Gun is the number one trending crypto over on CoinGecko right now. So I'm gonna do a quick review on this and share my thoughts. It has a $20 million market cap, which I suppose is pretty good. And it's got about 25% of the coin supply out in circulation. If you don't remember, this is that project that everyone thought had rugged after just three hours in existence. It made it from a peak of $8.70 to two cents in less than three hours after it had initially launched. And you could see on this chart, this is like the nightmare chart. Obviously, people are gonna think it is a rug pull. I thought it was a rug pull and disregarded it until I saw it on the trending on CoinGecko, right? So it turned out that there was a bug that was doing something, right? I don't, I don't wanna get into the details of the bug, but apparently it was something so simple that ChatGPT itself, this person, Mr. Mr. Chalk, Banana, claimed they had two audits. So this person asked for a third one from their favorite auditor, ChatGPT, and it found the bug. So it couldn't have been that difficult of a bug to find, which automatically makes you think, and no bet, no, no knock on these people personally, right? But that just makes you question either the integrity of the team or that something could just be off when it is such an easy fix that ChatGPT could just spot it so easily. In their Telegram group, it does look like they are waiting on another audit and when I asked if they made all of the users whole from this bug, they did say yes. So what exactly does it do? It is. It looks like mostly a sniper bot, and I guess that's the reason for the gun, right, is to snipe. And if we go and read their description here, welcome to Banana Gun, a telegram bot that allows you to snipe upcoming launches or safely buy tokens that are already live. We aim to be your go-to sniper, manual buyer on Ethereum, and probably more chains along the way. And then they've got a roadmap down here at the bottom. Limit orders you can do now, auto sell, uh, a user interface or user experience rework. They're working on a web dApp like uh, Unibot has. They want to go multi-chain. Curious to see how they're gonna do that and what they define as multi-chain. By multi-chain, do they just mean other ETH chains? Trade history, trade overview, and then later a multi-platform. I don't know what that means a wallet tracker, copy trading, and a banana ecosystem. Probably full of apples, strawberries. Dumb joke, Kyle. No dumb jokes. I went into their docs looking at the tokenomics, mostly because I saw this here. And uh, CoinBot is a Telegram bot that I had come across early on, and it was a fair launch. All of the tokens were released from the beginning, and the way that the team makes revenue in order to keep developing, developing the product is they have a 5% buy and sell tax. So you put it all out there and then you charge a tax for the operations is how I thought all of these Telegram bots most likely operated. Their tokenomics though are a bit different. So you've got the holders have 22% liquidity locked for two years. This has 173. There was a small airdrop here. The team got 10%. And then you've got the relaunch, burn, treasury liquid, and then the treasury locked, and this is the bulk of it, six million, two year linear vested. So 250K tokens a month will be unlocked, relocked what is necessary for emissions and operations. That is a lot. So I was thinking, okay, sweet. So they've got the 60% in treasury, they don't need to have a tax. But no, they do have a tax. It is a 4% buy and 4% sell tax. So to half of that is gonna go to token holders and a revenue share. And this is actually what CoinBot does as well. 40% of the tax goes to token holders. And then another 40% goes to the team and the other percent goes to the treasury, I think. So this is somewhat similar. 2% goes to the token holders, 1% to the team, 1% to the treasury and they do say this tax will be lowered later on when the market cap has grown substantially. I was asking in the Telegram group why they didn't why they didn't do one or the other. Why is there a a tax for operations but then they also have 60% of the supply in a treasury that is also for operations. That just doesn't really make sense to me. And then you combine that with the fact that after the first 3 hours, you know, they had this issue with the bug and you know, just message over in their Telegram group, they do have a dashboard 
for their revenue share up. However, it is not live and you cannot claim anything yet. Looking at the holders checks out, right? You've got the 60% that is in this treasury here. You've got these two other big wallets. Uh, let's see, let's go back to tokenomics. You got 3.5% here. And if we go to the tokenomics, you've got 3.8% for the treasury that is liquid. So I'm assuming that is that one. And then you've got 10% for the team. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So these are all the team wallets. And then you've got some bigger wallets here as well. I guess we could give the team the benefit of the doubt and maybe the sniping and some of the stuff that it does is very niche that none of the other trading bots can do. But I'm just really confused why this has a $20 million market cap when you've got other uh, trading bots out there, Telegram bots like CoinBot, which is truly multi-chain on like nine multi different chains. You could trade Bitcoin natively for like Avalanche if you wanted to. And that one, at least right now, has a much smaller market cap. So not financial advice. Always be sure to do your own research. But to me, this one has just a little bit of some red flags for me. So I personally, this is just my opinion, would probably not go into this. What do you guys think of Banana Gun? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you wanna see my whole portfolio, there's a link to the Patreon if you wanna help support the channel. If you like this review, don't forget to check out this video on Autonomous or Olas seems pretty interesting. It's an AI project. If you're still here, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I'll see you on the next video.